there anything else on the baseball thoughts or before we get the games Tuesday and Wednesday? I mean, they start tomorrow. Only thing I got to say is Mike Trout fans can suck it. <laughs> they can suck it. Because like you said earlier, you made a good point. They tried their damn hardest this year to get him in. And guess what? They didn't have one extra playoff team. They had three. Yeah, three. Yeah, it's <laughs> bad. Not just is it bad for Mike Trout fans that think he's the end-all, be-all, and all the ESPN writers that at the beginning of the year said the Los Angeles Angels will so make picked him to the win. win that one person went, picked him to win, if I'm not mistaken, out of their writers. A lot of them, over 50%, had them making the playoffs right. in general. And now it's just a big old suck it. Here's what's so bad about it. All you had to do is go 500. Hell, the Astros made it 29 and 31. The Astros got in under 500 and got the sixth seed because they finished second in their division. (laughs) You didn't even have to win. They didn't even have to have a winning record. They just had to be the best terrible team. And they say you got to win to make the playoffs. And (laughs) And they couldn't do it. Playoffs. I, I, I've I've been, I've enjoyed the tweets and the uh, comments about what are the angels? They fired their GM today. By yeah, I know why. Well, okay, yeah, that made great sense. I well, again, we've pointed. What, this out. what is the next GM going to do? What like how are? What if the next GM comes in actually has a pair has a brain on him, mm-hmm. and says this deal is actually outrageously bad, and trades Mike Trout to some dumb suitor that wants him? Could you imagine? Could you imagine that outrage? Oh, how could you have done that? When then, and then what if? Just think about it. Play the hypotheticals with me. You got a GM that comes in that has a brain. He moves off of Mike Trout the same way the Washington Nationals moved off and did not re-sign Bryce Harper because they didn't want to give him all that money. And then what did the Nationals do the next year? <laughs> they won Series. the World Series. World Series. What if the Angels went on to win the World Series? World Series. Chris and I really don't care. I hate to tell you. That just means the Angels as a whole organization are just bad. You know what he wasn't? You know what he wasn't? The best well, defensive player. Nope. Because if he could play better defense, he'd win a gold glove and maybe can't stop some of those runs from scoring as they round the bases. I got over, what you, and over, I want over, you to think over, about over, that. Over, you know, over. Chris, as I read your, your statement, Mike Trout was the Angels' best offensive player this that's year so, by far. That's so cute. That's so cute. You won probably, what, not even 18 games? He's the gloat, guys. He's the gloat. The greatest loser of all time. I can tell you this right now. If anybody was to come up to me and try and tell me Mike Trout was the best player this year in baseball, I'd look at them and say, You are a, the biggest idiot I could uh, ever see because I what I've watched Freddie Freeman years. what I've watched Freddie Freeman do yeah. on a second seed, a number two seed in the playoffs. Like I, there's no way like what did Mike what can How Mike much, what can Mike Trout hold up to what Freddie Freeman has done this year? Nothing. What what was Trout's pay supposed to be his what his pay yeah hell this? i don't even remember Wasn't it's it 40 40 million well yes what, what 400 million for 10 years so in 2019 426 million so about 40 uh, about 41 million we'll see what sports track says um so basically and we've talked about this before what is your definition of of value so, if your definition of value is just fantasy stats, then pay Mike Trout forty million dollars. But if your value is actually winning games, he doesn't win ball games. The Atlanta Braves Trout's Trout's salary salary this year. This year is where he ended up being. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. It was going to be a thirty-seven thousand dollars. I mean, thirty-seven thousand. Thirty-seven million. million. Oh, yeah, what a what a nice t- break he took, you know. Mike Trout's salary alone, Hunter, mm-hmm. would be the fifteenth highest in Major League Baseball total payroll of teams. That means, guys, only fourteen Major League Baseball teams' <laughs> entire roster. Or paying cost more, more than, than Mike, Mike Trout. Trout. So what did you get? And how the, many of them are winners? Right. I'm pretty sure the Dodgers. So what did you is get? Is one of the only ones that has a high payroll, at least in the top ten, and is a winner. The only team in the top ten that did not make the playoffs. There's two of them: Angels 
is one of them, Hunter. The other is the Phillies. The fan, the Phillies, all that's being eat up. Think about that. Think about that right now. The Angels is is getting eaten up because of Mike Trout's contract. The Phillies is getting eaten up because of Bryce Harper's contract. Mm-hmm. The only one out of the big three that we all were talking about a few years ago that actually count was Machado, and he made it with the Padres, and now the Dodgers just signed Betts, and he made it. Where's Machado at right now? Machado's with the Padres. He's still with them? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, what, you're two or three with him. So the Braves are 10th, um, the, and the, we went through the Braves roster. So basically what you could get Don't let me see it. Is, there you go. Basically what you could get is seven of the eight Braves starters mm-hmm. for the same price as a Mike Trout. Mm-hmm. So as a GM, when you go to your owner, say you're the Angels owner, and if you go to him and say, we could have Trout for $40 million and mm-hmm. finish next to last, or we could trade him for seven of the Brave starters. <laughs> and <laughs> what would the owner think they should do? You, you know, like that's the, and that's what we mean by value. People, people see the value in Pujols and be like, he's paid too much, he's taking up space. But if I say the same thing about Trout, they're like, no, 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 he's worth it. But, he's worth every penny. But again, he's paid more than I, every team. Only fourteen teams. <laughs> he's he's getting paid more than the Twins. They're in the playoff. <laughs> He's getting paid more than the Athletics. They're in the playoffs. He's definitely getting that's paid more than the Marlins. That, 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 the Rays and the Athletics are the one Rays and two. Are 26. In, they're one and two in the American League, yes. The Indians are 18th. The Blue Jays are 19th. So there's five teams in the American League playoffs whose entire roster costs less, costs less than Mike Trout than Mike alone. Trout by himself. Like that. Not to mention the Marlins, I think, are dead last in payroll, and they made the playoffs. Uh, Orioles are last, then the Pirates, then the Marlins. Okay, so they're second to last. So the Marlins' payroll this year was $14 million. They're in. They're in. The Diamondback. I mean, how about Tampa? And they have opportunity to be, to be able to beat Chicago. Tampa's got the best record in baseball. Or, don't tell you, we're second. Is Dodgers no, or Tampa? Or Tampa yeah, Dodgers. it's the Dodgers have the best record. But... Tampa. Hunter. $23 million. 26th in the lead in payroll. That that should be the general manager of the year, shouldn't it? If you're 26th in payroll, have the second best uh, um, record in baseball. It's just crazy. All right, count the playoff teams below Mike Trout's uh, payroll. You ready, Hunter? Mm-hmm. Minnesota. One. One. Oakland. Two. Cleveland. Three, Toronto. Four. Milwaukee. Five. Tampa. Six. Miami. Seven. So seven teams. So half the playoff teams mm-hmm. in, in baseball, basically, are making le- less than Mike Trout. And they, they, made, made, the and they made the playoffs. They made the playoffs. So, and the it, team as a whole has the fifth highest payroll in the league. Don't they have the fifth? They're like maybe who? even higher. The Angels. They're, they're fourth or fifth. They're yeah, fifth. they have the fifth highest payroll in baseball. And they're... <laughs> Scratching for maybe if they, I don't, I, cause see, I can never remember how the MLB draft does it. If it's a snake draft, they're about second to pick, because if they get <laughs> second or third pick, because they had the worst record in baseball. Uh, they said there. I, I did see Not a snake story draft. They about went a, by a month ago that, that wins losses. The draft is is something they may have some adjustments on that based yeah. on this year. Because I'm looking at it like, think about it. If it was, let's just say it like this. If it's straight football rules, Los Angeles with that high of a payroll, you still might be picking first, second, or third. Yeah, so the so the Angels, Phillies, bad losers. They should be fired. The Mets people should be fired, and and that's about it. So, all right, Hunter, there's your baseball. Uh, Listen, the Angels, the Phillies, all these guys that have given all this money out here. Very rarely can you pull off what the Yankees have been able to pull off twenty six times, where you just buy these World Series. So, I just just try and build. Okay, just imagine, imagine building the team. And not just, I mean, come on. <laughs> Chris said, that's a funny one, comparing apples and cows. Well, either way, if you buy a pie the pound, you're going to spend more on one than the other. So I, I'll compare I'll compare it, Chris. <laughs> you just don't spend. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought we were, I thought on, we were comparing nothing. dollars to dollars. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like, I can compare dollars to dollars, whether he's on a still under contract right. or he signs as a free agent. I mean, that's all on the general manager's part. You go in and negotiate these things. I would, I and would, the agents. I would ask him to take a pay cut in a twenty-year deal, <laughs> cut it in half. 
We'll pay you over twenty. How about you just we'll pay you over twenty years? Well, here's this front load it. and go to right field. By the way, front load it. <laughs> get your ass out of center field. <laughs> no gold he's getting glove. Too, he's getting too big. No to be gold in glove, field. but he's got a couple of American League MVPs. But he didn't make the playoffs. I think for some of those, and I don't know. It's it's just a little fishy. I can't grab my hands around he's it. He's made the playoffs once. That's correct. I know. Yes, he had not won a playoff never game. Never won a playoff game. And his best career batting average. And this wasn't, and this just wasn't supposed to be a Mike Trout bash. No. But I was just, it's just serious. It's just so funny because they're gonna do this at the beginning of next season too. Oh yeah. Who's gonna make the playoffs? Because they're gonna <laughs> probably roll with this playoff format from now on. They're gonna do the same thing. Who makes the playoffs this year? Oh, I think Mike Trout and the Angels might do. And then you're gonna have the one guy that says, "Yeah, I think the Angels will make the World Series. They might even win the World Series." <laughs> and then you're just, and then everybody in the room is just gonna be like, "Yeah, you, I mean, you make very good points." And I'm just gonna uh, sit here looking at him like this. Well, all right. Before we move on to, to the basketball, here's your here's your picks for the for the for the series. The expert picks according the same to, expert picks the that same picked experts the Angels yeah. and Mike Trout to make the playoffs. Now, thirty people picked each one of these series. Thirty Dodgers thirty to zero. Damn. Reds pick to beat the Braves sixteen to fourteen. Hunter, <laughs> watch him lose his mind. Here, let me zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> 16 ESPN experts pick the Reds to beat the Braves in round one. Um, I don't know about that one, Chief. You know, I've heard a lot of dumb takes before. Um... <laughs> But I would understand if that was flipped 16 to 14 Braves. You know, I would understand that if you maybe said, oh, the Reds pitching is going to be something that the Braves really are going to have trouble with. (laughs) Well, okay, but damn, I don't see them outscoring us at all. We will go down (laughs) games by four runs in the third (laughs) inning and still come out and win like 10 to 3. So whatever these... Expert, this is good. believe that they are fun. saying. I want to promise yeah, yeah. you right now, it is. <laughs> grandmother, I know you're watching, but I hate to tell you this. But that was guess this grade A bullshit. Them pitching, them picking the Cincinnati Reds to beat the Atlanta Braves in the opening series. Are you kidding me? You're only you're just asking us to win two games. Okay, that's easy. That's easy. <laughs> and I'll take Freed right now to beat Bauer game one. <laughs> Oh, he's fired up. I knew that was going to be good when I saw that. Like, oh, uh, oh, we got to tell Hunter about this one. I just don't understand what, like on what planet, <laughs> what planet do they just think, yeah, you know, the bat, the team that scored the most runs yeah. last month in the whole Major League Baseball and led the league in home runs is going to lose the first round in the playoffs. I, I, I just something just doesn't buy into me on that. Okay, it's something that's just it just doesn't <laughs> compute. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Help me make it make sense because ah. it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's so dumb. All right, Marlins pick to lose twenty to ten. Cubs over Marlins. Damn. Oh, okay. So they gave the Cubs. Oh, out of these thirty people, but... Padres. In a four or five series against Yadier Molina, or have been picked twenty seven to three. <laughs> there you go, Kevin. There's your laugh. That's funny. I love it. I love it. There's your laugh. Now we can li- literally <laughs> sit, we can three. literally sit here and say these quote unquote experts at this faux pas of a f- sports network <laughs> can get out. Because I don't believe anything that you have to say. <laughs> I believe everything that you are trying to predict right now will be wrong. Except for, well, the only thing they'll be wrong about is the Brave series. And I'm just going to love it. I'm just going to love it. It's going to make me so happy. <laughs> make me so happy. I cannot wait. They picked the seven I need seed. You, I need you to screen capture that. I need you to like, send like it. Like a couple of them picked no, the seven seed. <laughs> no, they just <laughs> they picked, picked them. them. <laughs> they just picked them. 
to beat the two seed. <laughs> I, I want you to screen cap that, and when we're done, I want to tweet <laughs> at ESPN and say, all oh, y'all are fired. The 16 people that chose this, <laughs> y'all, y'all are fired. fired. You're fired. Here, go ahead. Y'all we'll all are fired. Go ahead, though, Hunter. <laughs> You're fired. The people that picked that Atlanta Reds game, cut this down. We're putting it on Twitter. If we, if they beat if the Braves beat the Reds in this series, you're fired. Sixteen to fourteen. You're fired. <laughs> Sixteen people that chose this, the Reds beat them. You're fired. Oh Idiots. God. Here we go. One person, Hunter. That's it. Only one. Pick the Blue Jays to upset the Tampa Bay Rays. A's nineteen to eleven, and the White Sox Twins. 21 to 9. And I can't believe this saved my life. New York New York SPN picked the Indians 20 to 10 to beat the Yankees. <laughs> Must be a lot of Red Sox fans voting in this up there at the at the Worldwide Network Hunter for them not to pick the Yankees to to win something. <laughs> wow. Wow. You never you would have never knew that the N in ESPN stands for the New York Yankees, would you? <laughs> off of some picks like that. What? Oh, okay. Here's your d- division picks. NODS, Dodgers 25, Padres 3, NODS 2, Reds 11, Braves 9, Cubs 8, Marlins 1. Well, okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> they have, so essentially what they're telling me is that the Reds are going to make the NLCS off of what that just said right there. Yeah, kind of. Wow. Ballsy. They've got Dodgers 24 votes for the NLCS, <laughs> Reds 2, Braves 1, Padres 3. So that's their pick. It's Dodger, Dodgers, Padres, Reds, Braves. So they got the Dodgers, to which win. doesn't surprise that's me. To win. That's to, that's go, to, to, win. That's to go to the World Series. Right. It's not surprising. So me. You, have one, you had one faithful Brave picker, and I didn't have any Cardinals pickers. Losers everywhere. Here's your picks for World Series, Dodgers 16, Rays 6, Twins 2, Padres A's, Indians White Sox and Yankees. Not a single with Brave one. in sight. One person man. had you there, but they didn't get you have you winning it, Hunter. I'm telling you, man. These people at ESPN, um, what what good are you right now with these dumb picks? Listen, I told you you're not going to win until you switch cities again. Not going to happen. <laughs> you better move to Myrtle Beach if 